A working Maya aqueduct might be able to climb up there. There we go. Should be able to get up higher now. Let's 
Salta el Cupulcán. Ya no llega. ¡Cubi, ya huye! ¡Pellín Wolting huye! ¡Cuabash te tanca, bo! ¡Hetspacho, catucultic! I can barely see the bottom. Hope there is a bottom. This cavern must have been carved by an underground river. up there. Just cross the river, almost at the prison. There are guards everywhere. We're heading towards the river. Get back to you when we're there. Okay. The 
box is not in Paititi. I know. I will be forced to join Amaru. Everything I fought for since Aidi's death will be lost. I won't let that happen. Come on, let's go. We're out of time. Someone needs to find that box. If the sun is not recharged, or the world we made, all of us will be destroyed. I found another clue. Maybe. The tattoos on your arm, the heron and the eclipse, the same symbols were found engraved on the altar where the box was taken. What? What do the symbols mean? This one shows my destiny. The crimson fire of Chak Chin. And this one grounds my past. It symbolizes Chim Chi Chika, the last true emperor of Paititi. His tomb is in the upper district. Can you take me there? They're all over that tomb. If there's anything there, they would no doubt have found it already. Amaru doesn't have this clue. He doesn't know what to look for. He's going to be crawling with guards. We'll find our way around them. It'll be dangerous. I'm sure. Then there's no time to waste. How is Edsley? Safe. He helped me find you. He should be with Uchu now. Jonah, I'm with Unuratu. Oh, good. Ansley wants to talk to her. Mother, we're sending backup. Should I support Kuchu or use the distraction to seize territory? You're in charge while we're separated, Ansley. Trust your instincts. Let's call and call and look at it. Let's be a good job. That's the last of them. For now, we should hurry to the other district. You lead. This describes something nearby. A once ferocious warrior raised as a warning. They fell from his mouth and now lie beneath him. I think we're clear. Let's go.
The victims were offered to the gods. They left the cities and wandered the provinces until they were buried alive. These traps are more complex than I could have imagined. Take this key. Come, I want to show you something. The eclipse is coming. Once it is here, the box must be opened. Temptation of the box is so powerful, it will pull me toward it, intent me with a fantasy, an easy way to solve our problems. But it will only show me my strongest, most secret desires. I have prepared my whole life to resist it. Amaru has not yet seen the box, but already its power corrupts his mind. Baititi is its people and can only survive by our will together. So if Amaru remakes Paititi his way, it's like he destroys it? Yes. 
We face many threats from the outside, but risk is a part of life. We must confront it to remain true to ourselves. How do you know you'll be able to resist the power once you have it? I don't. But if my training fails me, the Crimson Fire will guide me and hold me to my promise. We should go. What is the Crimson Fire? It is my destiny. It's connected to the sacrifice of Kukulkan. When the Crimson Fire smokes, seek your mirror. It's a powerful force of accountability. That's all I know. Do any of those creatures ever find their way in here? Creatures? They attack. In the caverns around Paititi, they were in conflict with Trinity. And at the altar where the box was taken, they came after me. Do you mean the Yashil? Yashil. They were tall and fast, hungry, almost desperate. I would not call them creatures. There are more than that. The key I gave you should work here. to the Yashil. There are many legends. It was long ago, but Paititi owes much of his safety to them. They protect it. I don't know if that's their intention, but their actions have that effect. They don't ever attack the city? No. We have always lived in cooperation. I think Amaru might be planning a public sacrifice. Of a rebel? We have to stop it. No, not unprepared, and not at the expense of the box. The warrior who will bear the sacrifice would prefer death. <sighs> Stay near me and do as I do. The crowd could turn on us. This way. Junkinesh, Butchkilich, Ortonesh. Who will threaten our safety? Preservation. Their leader, the traitor, Ururat. Your fallen queen is in my custody. But it is not too late to save me. Today, we offer a sacrifice to Kukulkan as a prayer for protection. See what he does. As the entrance draws near with this sacrifice, Trevor's life will be redeemed. May all his fellows see the light. And rejoin us! Emru said he wanted an end to violence. He sees it as a means to an end. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. The tomb is up there, on that statue. I'll watch the gate. I won't be long. 
Shona. We're close to the Emperor's tomb. We're by the river, ready to get you and Unarato out of there. Let me know when you're ready. like my way in. Someone is keeping these fires burning. This figure must be loved. Layers of symbolism in these stucco panels. This altar is elaborate. This must have been an important ruler. The Inca influence is unmistakable. his death. Okay, the Eclipse and the Heron. What am I missing? Wait, did Lopez leave this? The heart of the serpent is in the cup. Commander Rourke. We've got a lead on the box. Send a team for Croft. Give this to Wesley. He's a rifle heir. He must need by Titi. He's young, but strong. His spirit as noble as his blood. Don't go, keep talking to me. The box, it will tempt you. Resist. We all create our destiny.
see you. Hey, just about ready to go. On my way. Where's Unuratu? We were attacked. She died fighting Trinity. Oh no. Yeah. Where is my mother? Your mother. She... She fought hard. But that's the leader's amulet. It belongs to you now. She was a warrior. The eclipse draws near. If we cannot restore the sun... I'll find the box. I won't let the cult of Kuku Khan get to it first. Begin the preparations for the Belio Chamber. Queen Unuratu will live on within us. Uchu, assist them with the boat. We will prepare for battle. The rebellion must succeed. We'll be back with the box. Take care. We will be ready when you return. So what's next? We'll head back to Kwakyaku, regroup and take it from there. that for another riddle. What did it say? The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. Well, it's better than nothing. I suppose. We need to find the box and end this. Is that?
Here's Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. The Aztecs worshipped him as a force of nature, responsible for the wind and the rain. In his most wrathful tempers, these natural phenomena became extreme, acting to cleanse the earth and sky. Through that, he also became associated with justice and with mercy. According to one legend, he had misbehaved with his sister, and to atone for his shame, he set himself on fire. Then, his ashes rose into the sky, and he became a god of light as well. The ruling family is displaced, reduced to nothing but a figurehead while we truly control the city. The reason for allowing them to remain in position of seeming power is twofold. It allows us to focus on our search for the silver box, and it acts as a pacifier for the locals who are recalcitrant to any type of change. Kukul Khan departs Paititi during New Moon. Kukul Khan returns with several other outsiders during the waxing of the moon. They argue. The next morning, the entire group, now in better spirits, leaves in their obsidian birds. Dressed in native garb, we entered the city. Those healthy enough to resist our advance met us with spears. We bowed and told them Kukul Khan had sent us to cleanse the city of sickness. We administered balms and medicine to the city's leaders and those we thought worth saving, buried the dead and comforted the dying. Slowly, the people came to trust and soon rely on our aid. They have several sites all over South America. <sighs> Wish I'd found this map sooner. I could have gone directly to Paititi. As ordered, we have made our way to Khan in search of the suspected traitor Andreas Lopez, accompanied by a squadron of native warriors. We'd found them along the shores of the Gulf after they had recently escaped a slave ship that was caught in a storm. The initial encounter was tense, but soon we came to an accord. The warriors agreed to accompany us through the jungle, on the condition we made a detour to several other outposts to enlist more of their people and that we would keep them from being enslaved. We found that altogether satisfactory and soon set off. Alfonso Ricci, Order of Trinity. Murder, death, stealing another's crops, death, stealing another's skins, death, idleness, head shaved, fighting, restitution to injured party, public drunkenness, stoning, exceptions, during a festival or over 70 years old, by order of the cult of Kukul Khan. May Quispi have acquired a surplus of foods, supplies, and comforts by the time we meet him in the afterlife. May the rivers of the afterlife be calm and Uturanku's boat sturdy to ferry us across them.